and Emma. Hi everybody, today we will be showing you how to make the double cross fish tail. And this is what it looks like. It's basically four fish tails put together. And the supplies needed for this bracelet is one loom, a hook, and four colors. And today we're going to be using purple, light blue, black, and dark blue. And we will give you some time to get all your supplies ready. Now that you guys have your supplies ready, you're going to start the process. So first you take your loom and you pop out the longest blue piece in the center. And you're going to pop it out. And then you're going to turn your loom over and you're going to take off the middle row of pegs. So it's so there's a space in the middle. Then you can start putting on rubber bands. So you're going to cross the first one and put it on diagonally. And then you're going to put another one just like that. You're going to um, make an A in the first one, and you're going to cross it over so it makes an X. Then you can put another rubber band over the crossed ones, <coughs> like so. And then you put another layer of rubber bands on. <laughs> so there should be three layers of rubber bands before you braid. So first you're going to take the outside. and So you're going to take the outside and you're going to braid from the bottom. So you're going to take the bottom on the outside you're going to braid it over to the middle. And then you push it down. And then you put on another layer of rubber bands <laughs> like you did before. And I'm sorry if you can't see the loom right now, but he's just doing the same thing. You, he's just putting on rubber bands and then you braid it. You can swear to see it. So you will just um, continue this process until it's long enough for your wrist or until how long you want it. We will get back to you. Bye. Now that you got it the length you want, you're going to, there should only be two. You're going to take the bottom or band, you're going to pull it over to the center like you've been doing. You do that until all the um, sides have one rubber band on the peg. And then you're just going to take it and you're just going to like pull the bottom and then pull it back down. And then now what you're going to do is going to take each side, but first start with one, and you're going to put it to one peg. You can do that on the other side. Put one rubber band to one peg. Make sure that doesn't happen. If it does, you have to grab the rubber band. And then you're going to take those two rubber bands. You're going to like flip it upside down. You're going to put it back on that first peg. So there should be four rubber bands on one peg. And then... You are going to take your hook, you're going to put it through all, of, you're going to put through the rubber bands, you're going to put through all of the rubber bands, make sure you don't miss one like I did, so put through all the rubber bands. And you're going to pull. Put rubber band on the hook, and you're going to pull up. Put the end of the rubber band on the end of your hook. And then you pull it off. And then there you have it. And then you're going to take your 
put it on your fingers and you're going to take your clip. You're going to hook it on. Then you're going to take your other side and hook it on. And this is what it should look like when... And this is what it should look like when it's done. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to watch more, go on our channel. Bye.